So I have a little confession to make. As much as I've been doing for a very long time, working in the IT field and working on infrastructure and things like that, I have always hired out the cabling. I know how to do it. I will do it as a one-off, but I never took the time to get good at it. So if you're a professional installer, this video is probably not for you. If you're someone like me who occasionally has to crimp a cable and you don't want it to end up looking like this, the obvious amateur move, the jacket pulled back, the uh, cut done wrong and it's out of its piece and everyone recognizes this going, yeah, that's a terrible crimp, Tom. Yes, this may or may not have been done by me. I found this at the back of my shop. Uh, I, okay, I'm better than this, <laughs> but um, I don't like crimping cables. Uh, now, for someone who's a professional installer and they do this all the time, and I'll, you've seen Corey in some of my videos, I think the guy can do it in his sleep. I, you know, watch professional installers, they're gonna cut, trim, cut, trim, snap, put, and not even think twice about it. But when you're like me, and most of the time I'm not doing cable crimps, but occasionally I'm out in the field and I'm like, crap, I need to either custom make a cable or fix an end on it, and there's just not another easy way to do it. There is a way to cheat at this. And when I say cheat at it, I mean, use this tool. This thing's pretty cool. This is the Ideal FT45, and it can make your crimps uh, a lot easier to do. So while the Ideal FT45 may look like a standard crimper, at least from this side, this side's got a little blade. And what this blade does is trim off the extra cable. And you're like, what extra cable? Well, this is what's kind of cool about this, and this is what allows amateurs like me to make nice crimps. The cable pulls through. Now, you buy these from Ideal, they're pull through RJ45s. They're not that expensive. They are more than your standard RJ45N. So yeah, there's a little bit of expense to this, but this is kind of a one-off and just makes me look more uh, professional at crimping cables because I can get them done faster. So instead of trying to trim things right and being a professional, uh, you can trim them wrong a little bit, pull them through, and as long as the ends are straight, I did have to trim the ends and get them through, but watch what happens when we push. They all go in and away we go. Now they are nice in there. The jacket's where it belongs. It doesn't look all amateurish. Maybe we can wiggle this a little bit more, get this in there, and now we have all these extras hanging out. And what do we do with all the extras? Well, we just take this, put it in, get this through here, and, whoops, one of them stuck under. There we go. And away we go. Now we have made a really nice looking crimp. We've trimmed it. And no one knows that this was done by a non-professional. <laughs> it just looks great now. It's just a simple little tool, but having simple little tools like this can be really handy uh, when you're out in the field and you're like me and you're not fast at it because I spend most of my time doing network engineering, not network physical layer uh, stuff. So it's, Ah, it's really nice. I'm pretty happy with this. The crimps turn out well. They're easy enough to do. And it's not that expensive a tool if it's in my bag. And it will crimp a standard RG45 if you don't have the pull through ones. But uh, keeping a handful of these in my bag, just a handful of this and this is my kit when I go out on that off chance that I have to crimp something. Because I've had the crimps go wrong. I've had the crimp not look as good when I'm done. Uh, but you know, this tool is pretty handy. It's simple, it's easy to use. It's uh, got a nice grip on it, nice feel, so it's nothing, it feels pretty durable, like I could drop it. This is an all metal construction, not plastic. So when it falls, uh, I'm not worried about, uh oh, I won't have my handy dandy cheater tool as I'm referring it to, or I should say as Corey refers it to, I asked him to see if he wanted to race me on who could do one faster with this or that, he still won. Uh, there's nothing beats someone who's really, really good at crimping uh, things and watching Tom fuddle around with it. But I just wanted to throw this out there. If you have to put some ends on and it's not your day job to do so, it's one of those crap I have to put one on or I gotta go put five or six of them on, I think they're worth it. Um, if you're a professional installer and you wanna do an entire site and you gotta put a lot of jacks on, maybe not so much because at some point you just get really good at doing it um, the easy, well, the proper way. Uh, and it costs a little bit more for these, not substantially, but there is obviously a little bit of an expense incurred. But I think it's a great tool. It's definitely something I keep in my backpack uh, for when I go on site and need to crimp something. And it's also nice because I can send uh, some of my other technicians who are also in the same category as me. They just don't do as much of the infrastructure, but they run into a situation where they're like, well, someone ripped the end off the cable. I don't have another cable uh, that length. Uh, so I'm just gonna crimp one real quick. And it does get that out of the way. Um, they also put the um, cable orders on here. 
They, they were realizing if you're probably not good at crimping, you probably have to think about the cable orders before you get out Google. It is written on the side of this, which I think is cool. It would have been cool if they put it in color. Uh, I would like that too. But I'll leave links where you can get these. Uh, they're available on Amazon. Uh, links are not too expensive. Pretty, pretty novel little tool. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.